What's what? Music therapy? Yes. Yes. Hi. Yes. Oh, yeah. Music therapy? Um, I guess it would be like some kind of therapy. It's for using therapy to help others um, using music and like different kinds of music and stuff like that. No, I think it's used in hospitals. I, I don't know. I've heard it can be used in like depression and adaptability and maybe helping cognitive reflexes. I. I think it's that. I have friends that do that, but I have no idea what they do. Music therapy is a partnership between a therapist and a client in which they are contained by musical experiences. And the musical experiences help to move the client in a particular direction in a lot of different areas. It can be towards self-actualization. It could be towards learning how to use your hands again if you've been in an accident, learning how to speak again uh, by using singing, uh, emotional expression, all of those areas can be the direction that you want to move in. We're talking about a stable therapeutic relationship and since in, in construction the, the triangle is the most stable, you know, constructional unit you can use. If there's a disconnect between the individual and this music that's offered, then you don't have a stable therapeutic situation. If the individual and the therapist both agree on the music, but there's a disconnect between the personalities, then you've got another disconnect. Hello. We do a lot of work with seniors, both in nursing homes and also in uh, assisted living facilities. Thank you, Ruth. It's always good to see you. And we develop a pretty good relationship with those folks because the groups are pretty consistent. We do see, you know, some of the same folks every week. We become more like friends and family, and then that's good because they, some of them don't get that many visitors, you know. War no more. Oh, I ain't going to study war no more. Ain't going to study war no more. Ain't going to study war no more we try to uh, sing some of the old songs that they grew up with holiday what favorite holiday and we try to make the music user friendly we do things that they can do regardless of their age or regardless of their physical ability is easter favorite holiday is easter Favorite holiday is Easter. Easter is my favorite holiday. Music therapy is the treatment of the total individual through planned personal interaction and the manipulation of the musical environment. We work with communication skills and academic skills and motor skills emotional skills, organizational skills, and social skills. We work across the board in all those areas. The adult male who's functioning in the mild range of mental retardation, he was admitted to the state school when he was a teenager because at that time his behavior was out of control. We had music therapy at the state school when he arrived there and he got involved with that. A couple years later, he was transferred to community facilities. He did real well with the regiment. Yeah. We provided him opportunities to sing, which he enjoys doing. More recently, we've done work on the metallophone. That's a mallet instrument. Found that he can transfer some melodies that he hears to the instrument. And of course, now you see a pretty mild-mannered guy. I don't think he has any behavior problem. They were doing a warm-up. Each student is responsible for doing a warm-up with some kind of client group. In this case, it was individuals in a nursing home with dementia. 
they're responsible for doing something using the piano and they have a list of songs to choose from and they have to come up with a therapeutic activity that works on some kind of specific skill. In this case, it was having the person change the movement on the word cowboy. So it involves cognitive skills and sequencing, knowing which movement is coming up, and obviously group interaction um, and some nice exercise. Um, there's another activity that's like hand-eye coordination you can work with, for an example. You're going to hold the paddle for me. Or just communication skills. And you're going to move it around, and I have to follow you. Okay, so you can move it up and down. So if I was working on following, this is a good motor hand-eye coordination. Music therapy was founded in the United States in 1950. At this time, there are over 80 academic programs that teach They're music slow. therapy. Some of them are undergraduate, some of them are both undergraduate and graduate. There are a few programs now in the country that actually have doctorates in music therapy. There are probably about three to 4,000 music therapists in the United States. To get a music degree, which you have to get to be a music therapist, you have to come into the program with already intact musical skills. You need to know how to read music, and there needs to be a primary instrument that you know how to play fairly adeptly, like the piano or the voice or some uh, woodwind instrument, string instrument, so on and so forth. Thank you. 